When Jacob Wetterling went missing in 1989, it really changed the way parents look after their children. Yeah, once unthinkable crime suddenly became painfully real, and it really altered the mindset of parents. Fox 9's Iris Perez joins us live. And Iris, this was really a turning point for so many families. Yes, Amy, a lot of parents I talked to described how different their childhood was compared to their children's, especially after Jacob's disappearance. And timely enough, tonight several parents brought their children here to Chaska High School to teach them about how to protect themselves from dangerous situations, situations not only brought on by strangers, but more commonly by those children know and trust. The real reason why grown-ups make rules for kids is because they want you to be safe and not get hurt. Inside Chaska High School's room P130. I have to ask first. Children listen intently. Here, they learn when to run, yell, and tell if ever anyone wants to give them something they're not sure is safe, try to take them somewhere unknown without permission, or touch them in the private zone. You might want to think your kid's safe going over to a friend's house, but who knows what's going on behind the door. This father of two says Jacob Wetterling's abduction changed how he protects his children. The thought of just that whole situation is always with you with everything. You know, it's like, you know, hold hands, pay attention, you know, look for people you don't know. Teresa Latka is also a mother of two who every day reflects on Jacob's disappearance. We lost our innocence as a state. Um, we lost our illusions as a state, and they were dangerous illusions. As the executive director of Missing Children Minnesota, she hosts workshops like these and helps families who are victims of cases like Jacob's or the more common where children are endangered by people that they know, acquaintances, family members, members of the community, people they see every day. Long-term sexual abuse prevention experts not only agree. One of the things that uh, Wetterlings really wanted was people to understand that it was a very rare and unusual case. They also drive home a critical takeaway in light of possible developments in Jacob's case. If this person of interest has anything to do with a number of other male victims, then there's a number of other people there that never really were heard. And being heard is key, a reinforced and timely lesson at this workshop, the importance of yelling and telling. Sexual abuse thrives in secrecy. Now, experts I talked to add that child endangerment is preventable. If you or a loved one needs help, you can call the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center. They can point you in the direction of agencies that can help. You can also call MINCASA, the Minnesota Coalition Against Sexual Assault. They can also assist. We have their information on our website, fox9.com, if you need it. Reporting live in Chaska, I'm Iris Perez, Fox 9.